Oh yes, she is giving scalp. Honey, can we talk about this melt? Like. She's melted. Duh. Hey everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a very, very detailed wig application video. So if you want to learn more about how to customize your wigs, apply your wigs, melt down your wig cap to perfection, then please continue to watch this video. This hairline is gonna need some tweezing. She's not giving me natural, she's not giving me scalp, she's giving me nothing right now, absolutely nothing. But I can tell that it's gonna melt really good because it is HD Lace and HD Lace or Swiss Lace, they do melt a lot better. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. And this is what a lot of wigs look like straight out of the box. You have to actually put in some work into them to make them look good. I mean, unless you're buying like a customized wigs and those are a bit more on the pricier side the knots are very very small on this wig but I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots because this is not it like this isn't it and we want this wig to look like it's coming straight out of our scalp okay we want it to look like this is my natural hair like this is mine the wig that I'm wearing is from Wow African I will list all their info in the description bar down below make sure you check out other reviews on this wig as well so I'm just trying on the wig right now I don't know why because I already did that but I'm gonna move on to bleaching so I'm using the L'Oreal um, cream powder bleach and I'm also gonna be using a cream developer number 30 and before I go ahead and start bleaching the knots on this lace I'm gonna go ahead and take these combs off because I I really hate these combs I don't know if anyone like what's the purpose of the combs on the side I feel like they just pull on your edges they hurt your head so I use my eyebrow razor to get rid of them I don't need them whatsoever um, even if I was gonna wear the wig glueless I still never ever use the side ones the back ones I always use that's what I use to secure my wig in the back so now I'm gonna move on to bleaching the knots now as you can see with the knots on this bleed uh, <laughs> the knots on this wig was actually pre-bleached that's what the hair company claimed that this is a pre-bleach knot wig however um, when I tried it on I can visibly see the knots like they were very noticeable I'm a perfectionist I want my wig to look as realistic as I can possibly get it like no one needs to know it's a wig I mean it needs to look flawless so I left it on for about 20 minutes this is what it's looking like brassy orange not feeling that we're not here for that so I'm gonna go in with oh girl that's orange I'm gonna go in with some purple conditioner you can use purple shampoo I was out of purple shampoo so I use a conditioner I've been told not to use conditioner because it loosens up the lace I mean the knots I'm not sure if that's a thing I've done this before I haven't had any issues with my wigs with the hair falling out so it worked anyways this is what it's looking like it's looking a lot better we got rid of the brass so now we're gonna move on to tweezing so this is what the hairline looks like I think the hairline looks pretty decent it's not bad it doesn't require a lot of tweezing hi Tanea just doing the most per usual <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rat tail comb part the sides so just follow exactly what I'm doing. Now that's a paper towel. I use a paper towel whenever I'm tweezing dark hair so I can really see what I'm doing. Get yourself a good tweezer, not a crappy one. I'm using Tweezer Man. So I part it and I tweeze behind the hairline. Do not tweeze directly on the line. I always tell you guys this, don't do it. I've done it in the past and trust me, I've had wigs that look bald headed. I should probably insert a clip. Yeah that wig was looking bald headed so this is how she's looking she's looking pretty good and like I said it does not require a lot of tweezing maybe like I probably did 10 minutes of tweezing and I'm gonna go in with my hot comb yes honey yes I can see that I'm gonna be getting scalp with this wig and I also tweeze at the hairline as well don't ever go over the same spots over and over just not do that don't do that you don't want to do that you'll have ball spots so now i'm going to go in with my blow dryer and i'm going to blow her out i mean the hair is pretty dry right now but i just want to blow it out because there was some wet spots from when i washed the hair i'm going to go in with my flat iron just to straighten this hair and i'm going to speed this part up now i really really love how this hair looked once it was straightened it still had some texture to it and i was living for it i love it 
This next step is optional. I'm going to be doing the ball cap method today and I'm using a stocking. So this was once a pair of stocking and I cut it and this is what I'm left with. So I just pop this onto my head and I tie the knot and I'm going to cut that excess part a little later on. So I'm going to go in with my bold hold liquid gold and I'm going to apply a layer of this onto my wig cap. So I prefer to use this over using the got to be free spray. I love that it dries really, really, really fast. I'm here for it. Yes, girl, swing that ponytail. I'm just doing the most. Anyway, so even though I said I prefer to use the liquid gold, I still went in with my got to be free spray. I don't know why I did that. You can just skip that part. You don't need to do that. Why did I do that? Now I'm just gonna cut off that extra piece of stocking that I don't need anymore. I will be using this a little later on. But yeah, this is how I do a perfect ball cap method. I like using the stocking over the wig caps. Sometimes I use my wig caps, sometimes I use stocking. Now I'm cutting the little holes into the ear part so I can just pull my ear out so that way it's easier for me to cut the extra parts off of the wig cap slash stocking. So I'm gonna go in with my scissors and cut this as close to my hairline as possible. And as I mentioned before, this is definitely optional. You do not have to do the ball cap method. However, I prefer to do it because I feel like I have a more flawless application when it comes to my wigs. I don't always do it because sometimes, honestly, I don't care if it looks super flawless. I'm kind of lazy sometimes and I don't care, but most times I care. Now I'm gonna cut off that extra lace in the back and I'm gonna try the wig on just to see how my wig cap is looking underneath. Just to see if I need to cut off any more of that wig cap. So I'm just lining up my wig and right now I can see that yeah it looks pretty good however I have to melt down this wig cap now so I'm gonna go in with some foundation powder and I'm trying to match the wig cap to my actual skin tone so when I put my wig on you can see it because I have to cover up my hair I don't want my hair peeping through my wig either so now I'm gonna go in with the got to be gel this is what I'm gonna use to melt down those lines that you can see on my forehead because you could see it through the wig when you have the wig on and you don't want it to be seamless this is to get your wigs flawless so apply a small amount of that gel onto the wig cap and I go in with my blow dryer on a cool setting so I'm just melting down this cap yes this is very time consuming but if you want a flawless application hey this is what you got to do so I just went in with some q-tip with water just to take away all that excess gel off my forehead and I went in with my foundation powder applied onto the lace so I'm just tinting the lace so it matches my skin perfectly it is HD lace but it doesn't match my skin perfectly until I tint it I love HD lace because you can tint it and it matches you perfectly so this is how the wig cap is looking yes honey she is giving bald realness and I'm here for it okay so now I'm gonna pop this wig on my head my daughter's in the background just doing the most per usual are you guys seeing this this wig is not even glued down as yet and she is giving me scalp She's giving me what it needs to be giving me. Now I'm gonna go in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut the sides, get rid of those little pieces, line it up with my ear, and we did that. It looks great, I'm here for it. Like always, I like to cut small sections of the lace before I go ahead and apply the glue. And I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow razor and cut away all the excess lace. So I'm just gonna start off by cutting away the extra lace in the front first. And I'm going in with the scissors so I can get a closer cut. I wanna bring it up to my hairline close as possible you can bring it down lower if you want to I don't like my wigs too low because then it cuts off too much of my face I don't really have that much forehead space I mean I have forehead space but not too much so yeah now I'm gonna go in with the glue so I'm using the bold hole extreme lace glue and I'm applying this along the forehead area where I want to put the lace down so I'm gonna go in with the rat tail comb and I'm gonna use this on a cool setting you guys have seen me doing this before if you are new here probably not but yeah once the glue is dry I actually did two layers of glue wait until the glue is dried clear and then I'm gonna pop that lace down and I'm gonna go in and cut away any excess hi baby oh, my little Margie poo going back in with the eyebrow razor I'm gonna use this to cut away the extra lace and I also go in with the scissors just to get the little areas that I can't reach so I'm gonna add another layer of glue and I'm gonna do two layers of glue like I said now you can add more layers some people do seven some people do five it depends on how long you plan on wearing your wigs I get asked this question a lot yes 
yes you can wear your wigs for weeks for weeks guys um the longest that i've ever worn my wig for was probably three days i mean i get like itchy scalp and i'm just i can't do it but i usually just use two layers of glue because i was planning on taking off this wig the following night and washing my hair and all that underneath so yeah i just did two layers of glue that's mainly what i do but if you want to wear it for a longer period of time you most definitely can do that think of wigs like the new weaves okay as for the lace glue it's best to use a skin protector i always use the bolt hole skin protector when i apply my wigs i didn't use it in this video because i really couldn't find it honestly but now i'm going to go in with the got to be free spray just to add it to the ends of the lace really just to melt it down and I'm going in on the blow dryer with on a cool setting so I'm just applying it right at the ends just that way the wig does not lift up and I'm melting her down seamlessly now I'm gonna go in with my tweezer once again because I feel like it's not really giving as much scalp as I wanted to give so sometimes when the wig is on my head even after I'm done tweezing it I go back in just to perfect it a little bit more so I'm gonna attempt to do a middle part I say attempt because every time I do a middle part on camera it be looking kind of like what is this and then when I do it in person I'm like okay she looks good I don't know if it's cuz I don't know I'm looking in the monitor <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with my hot comb just to flatten this hair down by the way guys, the key to a flawless wig application is apply your wig before your makeup application. Do your makeup after. Trust me, your wig will look flawless. If you are wearing makeup, however, make sure you wipe off the extra makeup on your forehead. Clean that off before you apply the wig. That way the wig will glue down perfectly and it just looks amazing. I just did my makeup and I still have to melt down my lace because she is not melted as yet. But considering that this wig is not melted, honey, she looks good. Random, I know this has absolutely nothing to do with this video, but I'm getting my life for my makeup today. And I haven't gotten my life for my makeup in a very, very long time, you guys. I haven't filmed makeup tutorial in forever, but I was kind of bored today and I was just like, you know what, I want to change my makeup routine. I'm still using my same favorite products that I love to use, but I was like, let me change my makeup routine. And I'm really liking this routine right now. Like, giving me what it's supposed to be giving me let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on this i will gladly sit down and film this and i need to go put some lipstick on because these lips are just dry and crusty anyways let me stop rambling and get on with the hair because yeah anyway so i pulled out some hairs at the side like some baby hairs i think i'm gonna do some baby hairs today i'm not sure we'll see how i feel but yeah i'm gonna melt down this lace now so i'm gonna go in with some hair mousse and i'm not really putting a lot of hair mousse onto the lace because i find that when you do that and especially if you're gonna do baby hairs in the mousse it tends to lift up the lace so i'm just putting it like right on the hair not too much on the lace hopefully that makes sense so what is going on here really come on this is what I get for talking how great my makeup looks. You know, I'm just going to put a little on my brush because I'm not going to put this back on my face. I'm not going to do what I was just doing and then get it all over my makeup. Mm. This beat is too good to waste. Honey, she is giving scalp. Guys, I would like to do more talk through videos for you guys, but it's kind of hard. By the way guys, my microphone was not plugged in while I was filming these scenes, so the audio sounds kind of messed up. So I apologize for that. You might even hear the camera making that annoying clicky sound. Okay, so now that I applied the mousse, I'm going to go ahead and just tie this down. And I'm going to leave it tied down for, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes, 15, 10 minutes. And to tie my hair down, I'm just using a pantyhose. You can even use um, the elastic if you have an extra wig elastic band to tie down your wigs. A lot of people do that. I usually have extras, but I don't know. When I use that to tie it down, my head be hurting, so I just use this instead. Um, you can also use a hair scarf, but I really like using the pantyhose. I just feel like it really melts down my lace. But either way, guys, like it, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this off and hopefully we are melted. Oh yes. 
Honey, can we talk about this melt? Like, she's melted, duh. Okay, I'm gonna try and attempt to do the soft baby hairs. This is an attempt, okay? So I'm just letting you know right now, I am complete shit when it comes to the baby hairs. I don't know, I don't really think they suit my face that well, especially like right here. I don't, I don't like that for me. I see baby hairs on a lot of people and I think they look freaking amazing. Let me, how about that nose contour just a little bit, it's looking a little weird. A lot of girls wear their natural hairs with baby hairs as well and I think it looks really, really good. Um, when it comes to my natural hair, I also don't wear a lot of baby hairs with my natural hair. Unless I'm doing like a ponytail, and again, I still just keep them at the side. I never keep them at the front because I don't really like anything covering my forehead. Like, I don't want hair on my forehead. I don't like that for me. I'm just going to go in with the eyebrow razor just to cut off that extra piece of hair that I don't need to create the baby hairs. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my raggedy toothbrush and just create the little swoop, swoop. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Super soft. I'm going to go in with my Care Care Styling Wax and just apply that right here just to flatten that down a bit and just get rid of any little flyaways. Do you see the fear on my face when I'm using a hot comb? No, let me just not even talk because the amount of time I've burned myself with this. Yeah, this is pretty much the completed look of the wig. She looks flawless. This is how she looks when she is straightened. I'm going to show you guys how it looks curled as well. I went in with my flat iron to curl it. And yeah, this is the end result. I really, really hope this video taught you something. I hope it was helpful to you. And I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.